Welcome to day in the life quarantine style. I'm gonna show you my life as we know it now that we're in quarantine and how I try to stay healthy and active during this really confusing time. So here we go. So the night before, I always lay out my gym clothes for the next morning. I do this because I think if you immediately change out of your pajamas and into gym clothes, then you are more likely to just be more active while you're working from home or whatever you're doing while you're at home during this time. You're not in your pajamas where you're more likely to just be lazy and sit around. If you're wearing gym clothes, you really have no excuse not to do something active, whether that's a walk or a quick workout in your living room or your garage or you know anything these days to just get moving. So I immediately put on some workout clothes and then I start my morning with a workout. All right, so then the next thing I do after putting on my workout clothes is come down to the kitchen and take my shot of apple cider vinegar. This is Costco's organic, raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar, including the mother, which is what you want. So I'm just gonna take this, and it's not the most pleasant tasting thing ever. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. So, here we go. Yeah. Woo! All right, next thing. I always take Strong Reds. These are from VPN. Um, and then I have Super Greens from FNX. So I take just a scoop of each and I'll just basically be drinking that while I'm doing like my first workout, which I always do fasted. These are strawberry flavored, so same with the greens. So you don't taste any of that gross stuff that everyone expects greens to taste like. It tastes like strawberry and it's amazing. Don't knock it till you try it, all right? I swear it's delicious. Yeah. It's good. All right, let's see what we're doing for our workout today. I have been following Mayhem 30. They're doing a free 40 day trial for their um, 30 minute oops, at home program. Uh, really like it. It comes with a warm up and then a workout for like non equipment and then a workout for people that have equipment. But we're gonna give this bad boy a go today. Next up on the agenda is my favorite time of day, which is breakfast. So I'll show you what I usually make. Okay, so got some kale in a pan right now that I will add some egg whites to once they're cooked down a little bit. And I typically make overnight oats. I'll just put um, oats, oatmeal, milk and like a fruit in a bowl overnight. Um, sometimes I will do Greek yogurt too. So it's like a creamier and cooler consistency, but today 
I just did oats, milk, and banana. And I'm gonna add this protein powder to it. So now I'll just stir it up in there. Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. I'm telling you, adding a protein powder to your oatmeal in the morning is a game changer, especially when it's cookie butter flavored. Like, hello, if you haven't had cookie butter, what, I mean, what are you even doing with your life? Honestly. Okay, so stirring this up. And then gonna add some raspberries. I used 60 grams of Quaker oats and then eight ounces of unsweetened organic almond milk. And then I believe it was, geez, I think 123 grams of a banana, which was basically like a small banana. Raspberry time, raspberry time, I can't get in there. Throw it in. All right. So it ended up being 80 grams of raspberries added to the oats and it'll be amazing. Fire good, look at my hands, okay. Maybe I do this weirdly, you guys tell me, but I, I use a measuring cup even though I'm weighing it. And now I just put it in the pan. Oh, we went a little heavy handed today. All right, 152 grams of egg whites. And then that will go in there. Okay, so while this is cooking down, let's have a little chit chat. So while you should have already probably been getting a lot of vegetables and fruit and other micronutrients into your diet, it's even important right now with COVID-19 affecting all aspects of our lives right now. So I try to just make sure that I'm getting like a vegetable first thing in the morning and a fruit um, and then at like every meal throughout the day. So micronutrients, are just as important, if not more important, than macronutrients, which is your protein, your fat, and your carbs. So making sure that you're getting all these vitamins and minerals that are found naturally in foods, so you don't have to supplement it with multivitamins and all other kind of supplements that are on the market. Especially now when lots of companies are trying to boost you know, their immunity boosting products, they're trying to push those on everybody when you can get all of those same things from food itself. Life hack right there. I know you saw me take my super greens and super reds, but honestly that's just because they make me feel better, they help with bloating and digestion, and I also know that if I am maybe lax some days in getting my fruits and veggies, that I took a scoop of those in the morning and I should be pretty much set throughout the day if I don't get as much as I normally do. So just a little food for thought. Here's the finished product. Egg whites and kale, oatmeal with bananas and raspberries and protein powder, and of course, coffee. Wake up, kick ass, repeat. Truth. Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Saturday. We have a great workout for you this morning. So first movement that you will be doing if you have dumbbells is dumbbell power clean and jerk, single arm. And then everyone knows what a 400 meter run is. So if you happen to have a watch, uh, you can measure that in your neighborhood or you can try to go to a local high school track and do the work out there. Good luck. Falls <laughs> down the hill. <laughs> At least there was my cactus there. Four ounces of chicken with some salsa. Dave's Killer Bread English Muffin with some avocado and some cauliflower and broccoli. Bone apple teeth. 